If you're concerned about data quality and privacy for your AI model, you're probably familiar with synthetic data. Today, I'll walk you through the Gretel platform and show you how easy it is to generate high quality synthetic data. By the end of this session, you'll have a deeper understanding of how synthetic data plays a pivotal role in training generative AI models and how to get started generating your own data sets. But before we get started, let's talk about what synthetic data is and why we need it. AI and ML research and development teams are often blocked by solitary point of failure, a lack of fast access to high quality training data. Referred to as data bottleneck, the problem persists across industries for multiple reasons, such as data scarcity, data quality, and data privacy. Synthetic data solves the problem by providing an easy way to generate high quality and safe data on demand. So what is synthetic data? Synthetic data is generated by a model as opposed to collected data from the real world. Synthetic data models are trained using real world data sets so they can learn patterns, distributions, and behaviors of the data, allowing it to generate high quality representative versions of that data while protecting and preserving the privacy of the original data. Enterprise data has tremendous values and potential, but is the most prevalent bottleneck to innovation. In a recent survey conducted by Kaggle of over 30,000 developers, it showed that 30% of developers' time on a project is acquiring and making data usable. Synthetic data has become an integral part of how companies share, collaborate, and innovate with ability to generate a safe synthetic version of their data that maintains the same statistical insights and utility as the original data. Not only does synthetic data allow for safe data generation, but the synthetic models you create with a tool like Gretel allow you to then generate an unlimited amount of data in any shape and size you need for model training, simulations, and testing. Finally, synthetic data is seen as one of the most prominent pillars for delivering on generative AI value with the ability to do what we call last mile training and fine tuning language models on safe versions of your own private data to make the models custom to your business, customers, and users without sacrificing on privacy exposure. Gretel is the first synthetic data platform purpose built for generative AI. With Gretel, you can create data from scratch or enhance existing data sets to address quality issues like class imbalances and low record counts. We support multiple tabular and text data modalities and benchmark generated data sets against real data. We were founded in early 2020 when we built the first language model that could produce synthetic privacy preserving tabular data. Since our founding, we have released over 10 new models and made major updates to our existing ones. Our collaborations span various prominent organizations across different industry and use cases. Over the last four years, we have seen over a million downloads of our SDK and have over 150,000 registered users of our platform. As I walk you through the product, I will focus on three core pillars of our platform. First, high quality synthetic data. Our technology generates data that closely mirrors real data, maintaining statistical integrity for accurate analysis and model training. Second, enterprise-grade capabilities. Gretel platform is designed to meet large organizations' needs. It has built-in connectors to all major cloud service providers and databases to scale and streamline ML workflows. Moreover, with Gretel Evaluate and Tuner, you can assess the quality of synthetic data and efficiently sweep the hyperparameters of the Gretel models. We offer flexible deployment options, including the fully managed Gretel Cloud and the secure Gretel Hybrid, ensuring data privacy and compliance. Third, private and compliant by design. We prioritize data privacy and regulatory compliance, ensuring all synthetic data adheres to the highest standards of the data protection. Now, let me tie this all together and show you how it works. During today's demo, I'll cover three scenarios. First, I'll start with a scenario where I don't have any data. Here, I'll use Gretel Navigator, the world's first compound AI system designed to create high-quality tabular data using natural language or code to create the data I need. In scenario number two, I have data, but it's incomplete. Again, I'll leverage Gretel Navigator to fill in the missing fields. In the final scenario, I have the source data, but it contains sensitive information. I'll show you how you can generate synthetic version of that data so it can be safely shared with other team members. So without further ado, let's get started. 
If you don't have an account, navigate to gretel.ai to sign up for free. Since I already have one, I'm just going to go ahead and log in. Let's do a quick tour of the Gretel dashboard. On the left hand side, you can navigate to different parts of Gretel Cloud, such as Blueprints, Workflows, Connections, and Navigator. You can also review information related to your account, such as usage, billing, API keys, and more. Our first scenario is to create data from scratch. Let's imagine I'm a data scientist that works at a large financial institution. I'll call them the Bright Horizons Bank. My job is to build an AI model that analyzes each customer's spending habit and other relevant information to automatically determine their eligibility for a credit limit increase. The challenge is, since this data is private and sensitive, I don't have access to it. And I can't really build and train an AI model without having access to the data. To overcome this challenge, I need to create synthetic data that accurately represents real world data. That's where Navigator can help me. Gretel Navigator is the world's first compound AI system designed to create high quality tabular data sets using natural language or code. With Navigator, you can iteratively create, edit, and augment tabular datasets with just a simple prompt. I can access Navigator by clicking on the left-hand side menu or the Generate Data from Prompt Blueprint. On the top left, you can toggle between tabular data or natural language as your input method. You can change the model you wish to use at the top right. I'll choose the Gretel Custom Model. You can change the number of output records, the temperature, or the advanced parameters. You can see examples of different prompts on the bottom right of the screen. I have an idea of the output schema for my data, so I'll use the tabular data option and enter my prompt. It only takes a few seconds to see the results popping up. Looking at the data, each row is very realistic to what I might find in the real world so I feel confident I'm on the right track. Now I can kick off a batch job to generate, for example, 200 records similar to what you just saw. First, a model is created based on the configuration shown. Then, Navigator generates 200 records and writes them to Gretel Cloud. I can download the results and you can see similar records to what you just saw earlier. This is fantastic. Moving on to the scenario number two, let's assume I have the source data, but it's incomplete. Let's see how Navigator can help me here. I selected the Add Columns to Existing Datasets option this time and will upload a CSV file. Let's say I want to include transaction location for each data point that I have. Again, once I'm happy with the data, I can start another batch job to add the new column to my source data and download the results. Everything I've covered so far uses natural language, but that's not the only way to use Navigator. You can add everything I have done using SQL. Just write a query and hit generate and you're good to go. So far, I have shown you how Gretel can eliminate data blockers for data consumers, for example, data scientists, while safeguarding customers' private information in the financial services industry. Now let's switch gears and assume I'm a data owner. I work in the mortgage department of the Bright Horizons Bank, and I have access to all clients' loan applications. Since these applications contain sensitive and private information, I cannot safely share them with the data science team. To overcome this challenge, I need to create a synthetic version of my data. To do so, let's step into my dashboard. These cards are called blueprints. Essentially, they're the most popular use cases we have observed among our customers. In the previous step, I showed you how to generate data through prompts. Now let's use this start from scratch blueprint to generate synthetic version of existing data. Here you can use an existing project or create a new one. I'm going to use the demo underscore live project. Then I hit continue and see a list of available models I can choose from. I will choose the Navigator fine-tuning model, which we released recently. This model supports tabular data, including mixed categorical, numerical, time series, and free text. A quick reminder that this model is in public preview right now, but will GA soon. Let's continue. 
In this step, you have several options. You can upload your source data as a CSV file or connect to an external data source, such as a database, object storage, or a data warehouse, or use an existing data artifact from your Gretel cloud account, or you can use a sample data that we provide. To simplify things, I upload a CSV file that has my source data and then hit continue. Last but not least, you are presented with the model's configuration. You can edit this YAML file, but I'm going to proceed with the default configuration and hit run. Now the model is being trained on our data. Once that is done, it will generate 5,000 records that are similar to our source data, but aren't based on any single individual person. Additionally, it produces a quality report. Now that the model training is completed and the data is generated, let's step into the synthetic data quality report. The quality score is 89, which is an excellent level, and the privacy protection level is normal. I can go back and tweak the parameters of the model, which will result in different scores. It all depends on the use case and the requirements. If I scroll down, you will see more information about the correlation difference, principal component, and field distribution. Looking at the results, I feel confident to share this data with a data scientist who is working on improving an ML model to predict whether a new loan application will be approved or not. I can click on the Members tab and invite them to join this project. To summarize, in the first section of the demo, you saw how easy it was for a data scientist to generate data from scratch and augment limited data sets. Then I showed you how data owners can quickly generate synthetic versions of their private data to safely share with other teams. Before I wrap up, I wanted to give you a quick high-level overview of how Gretel fits into your existing AI and ML pipeline. Gretel supports various data formats, such as tabular, natural language, and more. You can leverage Gretel workflows to schedule or manually run tasks to anonymize and augment existing data or generate data from scratch. Process data integrates seamlessly into cloud data warehouses, cloud storage, relational databases, and ML tools. Our platform gives you secure, high-quality data ready for AI training and advanced analytics. Thank you for joining me today. I invite you to sign up for a Gretel account now and try it out yourself. I can't wait to see what you build, and I appreciate any feedback you might have for us.